here with Kari Ann Wood from Thistlewood Farms, and we are so excited to be doing this project because this is one of the most popular projects that you've had on your very popular blog. That's right, and it actually all started when we had a flash flood in the area, and kind of water swept through, and there was destruction everywhere, and my entire driveway was full of sticks. So what is a person to do when your driveway is full of sticks? What do you do? What you do is turn it into <laughs> a craft project, right? Exactly. So yeah. I created kind of this fun pumpkin twig project um, out of the sticks that the flood left behind. That's awesome. I love it. All right, so we've got a pile of sticks here. Most people could find sticks in their yard. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is an easy thing to do. And you found the coolest thing at Walmart last yes, night. So this I did. is going to be the base for the project. Tell me about this. I did. This is just a simple wood plaque. I found it back in the craft department. Mm -hmm. And it came in. Um, there was just a basic wood uh, uh, version of this if they wanted to paint it orange. And there was white. And it was really inexpensive. And it came just like this from Walmart. Cool. So that's where we're going to start. Or if you wanted to do your own, you know, put it on a tray or, or anything else, you could use that as your exactly. background. Exactly. All right. So we're going to. Take a pumpkin shape. Yes, I just found this online. Just Google pumpkin cutouts. Um, okay. I just printed this off on my home computer, and you just kind of place it in the center of your wood plaque, and then you take a pencil and you trace around it. The wood's a little rough, so kind of press hard with the pencil. Okay. It and is a little rough. <laughs> I know. Another fun idea that I thought is you could actually take a leaf from your yard if you wanted to, and you could trace around the leaf and create the same. Uh, process that we're doing today to make actually a leaf plaque instead of a pumpkin plaque. That's a great idea. And a great way to personalize too, especially mm -hmm. with your leaf. So. Okay, so once you get this done, you're going to need to collect your twigs. And you had a great tip for how to break the twigs too, yes. to make them come out so that they're not all jaggedy on the edge. Now you could use garden shears. I think mm -hmm. that's a great idea too. Um, you could use scissors or I just simply took a twig like this. Now you want to break it both directions okay. to get a clean break. So you, so you break it like this and then you're going to kind of break it back the other direction and that leaves a nice clean finish okay. on the edge of the twig. Good idea. And what you're going to want to do is you want to start with your smallest twig first. Okay. You start on the outside of the pumpkin. This is the smallest twig and then okay. you just kind of, and this is not a perfection project. Do not overthink. Okay. These are some twigs that you found in your yard and we're making something beautiful from them. So we we start just with the smallest one, then we take the next one and we just keep adding until we have finished the entire um, twig pumpkin. I can tell that I need a smaller one to go there, so I'm going to have to break a smaller yeah, one to go on yeah. the edge. It doesn't really matter where you start as long as you just know that, okay, I'm just going to kind I'm of gonna work on yours over here. Okay, I think. very good. <laughs> that'll be easier. All right, so. We yeah, that'll, that'll work right there. And you're not putting glue on the whole. Oh, no, just um, on the end. You just need a tiniest little bit of glue. Cool. Kind of put it on both ends, and then you just press it down and keep going. You really can't mess it up. And if, if you do one that's too long, you could always just pop it off. It's hot glue. That's you can just yeah. pop it off and just re put it on there that's again. Cool. And then you have um, cut a little stem, too, which I think is so cute. Yes, I think once I finish the entire pumpkin and you put all the twigs on and it's completed, the little stem is just from a larger twig that we mm -hmm. cut. And we kind of cut it at an angle. So when you placed it down, right, it like cut, this? Yeah, exactly. Oh, and you just hot glue that in place, yeah. too. And then you're done, and you've got a finished one that looks like that over there. Exactly. I love that. So you could hang that on the wall. You could. You could just, you know, put it on a table and do an arrangement like you did. You could put that. on your mantle. You could put it. Oh yeah. You know, create a fun. Put on one of your bookcases. Mm -hmm. I mean, the possibilities are endless. They are, and it all came from twigs in your backyard. A I mean, flash that's... flood started it all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You have so many great ideas on your blog. Tell us where we can find it. You can go to. Thistlewoodfarms.com. Cool. And you live where in Kentucky? Folks live, would love to know. I live in Grand Rivers, kind of by an amazing restaurant called Patty's. Ooh. If anyone's ever been to Patty's, the pie is amazing. Nice. Oh, that's great. Karia, thanks so much for being Thank with you. us. All right, you're going to find directions for this project and so many others uh, on her blog, which is thistlewoodfarms.com.